for years the White House defense was Joe Biden never spoke to his son about his business. And now they're saying Joe Biden was never in business with his son. So what does that mean? Let's turn to Peter Schweitzer. He's the president of Government Accountability Institute and author of Red Handed. So this Devin Archer testimony is going to be devastating. It's going to be explosive. He knows everything. How do they survive that? Uh, it's going to be very hard, uh, Jesse. Look, the walls are closing in. Um, first, you had the bank records that show that the money was being transferred. Now you have the testimony of business partners. Devin Archer is one. There are going to be others. And other than Joe Biden himself, Devin Archer is Hunter Biden's most important business partner. Uh, when Joe, sorry, when Hunter Biden joined the Barisma board, Devin Archer got a seat on the board as well. Uh, when Hunter Biden got that sweetheart deal with that Chinese private equity. Equity fund and got put on the board, Devin Archer got the same slot. So he knows where everything is. And it's going to be very, very hard for the Democrats on this committee to do what they did with the whistleblowers, which is argue Joe Biden played no role. The evidence is there and their defenses keep shifting. Uh, and I think Joe Biden is in serious trouble. Yeah, he's going to have to be able to put Joe Biden on phone calls, in meetings. He's going to have to talk about what people knew and when they knew it. What does it tell you now the White House is changing? Changing their defense strategy. It's no longer Joe didn't talk about business, is now Joe wasn't in business. <laughs> yeah, we've been at it this since 2018. They initially said there were no foreign deals. Then they shifted and said there were there might have been foreign deals, but the Bidens made no money. Then it became Joe Biden didn't know about any of the deals. Then it became Joe Biden didn't participate in any of the deals. And now it's that he was not in business with his son. Look, the implications for this are huge, Jesse. If you look at that 1023 form that the FBI released, if that document is true. That document reveals that one of the people that was at those meetings that heard the conversations about bribing the Bidens worked for President Zelensky. Who really wants to believe if that meeting took place and that document is accurate, that that individual did not go and report to President Zelensky what he heard? And again, if that document is true, who wants to believe that President Zelensky and his administration have not used that as leverage over Joe Biden when it comes to negotiations on Ukraine policy. Uh, we may all have to start learning the Ukrainian word for compromise yeah. uh, because this is a very clear indication of how this has shaped this administration's policy towards Ukraine and also towards China. Exactly. And now listen to this. Business Insider just revealed one of the people who paid for Hunter's artwork. Her name is Elizabeth Naftali. She's not an art collector at all. She's a Democrat donor, and she's a friend of the Bidens. She donated to the Biden campaign, and Joe appointed her to a cushy government post shortly after Hunter's art show. Does that surprise you, Peter? <laughs> no, Jesse, uh, it's, it's the grift. I mean, look, the question that we've always asked and that I know you've asked is, what is the Biden's business? They're getting all this money from overseas. They're getting all this money for artwork that, frankly, is not worth half a million dollars. What is the business? What's the product? The product is Joe Biden. Let's remember, with Burisma, the Ukrainian energy company, Hunter Biden was getting $83,000 a month when his father was vice president of the United States. When his father became the ex-Vice President of the United States, Hunter's take from Burisma was cut in half. <laughs> So everybody knows what the product is and why this was being done. And the Democrats, I think, that continue to cling to the notion that there's nothing here, there's nothing to see, are making a big strategic mistake in my mind. Yep, they're getting hung out to dry. Peter, thank you so much. And as always, thanks for pushing this investigation so hard. Thanks, Jesse. Appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.